Hey everyone, in this tutorial series we're going to talk about how you can use iClone LiveLink to animate your MetaHuman characters in Unreal Engine. There is an arsenal of smart animation tools within iClone that allow you to animate your character in all sorts of different ways quickly and efficiently, saving you tons of time on your projects. The Aculips tool in iClone allows for super fast and accurate lip sync animation. Let us talk with accurate lip syncing. You can generate flawless results from a single audio file like you see here. Let us talk with accurate lip syncing. You can combine this lip sync with detailed and precise facial motion capture to create an entire talking animation with expression in seconds. Let us talk with accurate lip syncing and emote us with intuitive facial puppeteering or even with iPhone tracking. Aside from facial motion capture, there are also some powerful legacy iClone animation tools like the Facial Puppet tool, which allows you to quickly preview and record animations for both individual facial features or entire facial expressions with the movement of your mouse. If you want to go into more detail, you can also use the Face Key Editor, which contains a library of expression presets that you can blend together with keyframe by keyframe precision. Let us talk with accurate lip syncing and emote us with intuitive facial puppeteering or even with iPhone tracking. When it comes to body animation, there are tons of options too. The Reillusion Content Store contains all kinds of animation content packs, and you can also find a massive library of both combo packs and individual motions in the Actor Core library. Once you have a motion you like, you can dig down into customization by using the Edit Motion Layer tool. You can also easily animate the hands with a library of gestures, and then further customize them with the Edit Motion Layer tool. If you combine iClone's body and facial animation tools, you'll be able to whip up comprehensive and dynamic animations just like what you see here in literally minutes. Now that you've had a brief introduction, let's look at how to set up our project to enable MetaHuman animation with LiveLink. The first step is to export a MetaHuman character from Quixel Bridge, which will automatically add it to your project. Just select Enable Missing on the pop-up windows, and you'll be prompted to restart your project. Upon reset, you'll see a MetaHuman subfolder in your project's main content folder, which means the import was successful. Next, you'll want to make sure that the relevant plugins are enabled, so go up to Plugins from the Edit menu and ensure that the RigLogic plugin and iClone LiveLink are both enabled. For information on how to install the iClone LiveLink plugin, please see the Unreal LiveLink installation tutorials on our channel. One final project restart, and we're good to go. Before proceeding any further, please make sure that you've downloaded the iClone MetaHuman LiveLink kit, which you can find on this page here. Once you've downloaded it, you'll see the following folder structure, including a MetaHuman profile for 3D Exchange. You'll want to click and drag both the iClone and MetaHuman folders into your project's content folder next. The MetaHuman Dummies folder contains iAvatar files which correspond to all the different MetaHuman body types. We'll talk more about this in the tutorial for animating the body. Once you've copied those folders successfully, you'll see them in your project's main content folder. In the iClone folder, there are three files, an animation sequence, a pose asset, and a blueprint. The animation sequence is optional for our setup and is only required if you want to further adjust the remapped poses. The blueprint contains some useful function nodes to speed up the blueprint editing process later. You can also play around with the values inside of the nodes to do things like adjusting the head rotation strength. We've also made some changes to the original MetaHuman Facial Animation Blueprint, namely the remapped Pose Asset node here after the LiveLink Pose node, in addition to some minor curve adjustments to the mouth. That's it for the setup. We have a series of tutorials on how to link your MetaHuman characters via iClone LiveLink, so be sure to check those out, as well as our forums at forum.reillusion.com. I'll see you in the next video.